Vito. So, um, uh, so we are getting some bird and privilege. I think I think mostly we're getting privilege scrub because privilege drug is deadly to a bill. Bird is important. It's you have to take it out, but privilege violation can take you out. We um, want to be sure that what we send is not birdable or bird bath or privilege scrub. They're the two um, exercises we're getting engaged, bathing exercises we're engaged in. And um, uh, we're getting good responses. There's no bad answer. What the hell are you talking about? Are you big dope? Big dope. What is your position on Israel? Well, I believe absolutely in Israel's right to exist. I, I am a proponent of a two-state solution. Um, and for me, it's not, it's, this is not a referendum, I think, on the state of Israel. For me, the lens through which I saw this incident as an activist, as an organizer, if 60 people were killed in Ferguson, Missouri, if 60 people were killed in the South Bronx, unarmed, 60 people were killed in, in Puerto Rico, I just looked at that incident more through, uh, through just as an incident. And to me, it would just be completely unacceptable if that happened on our shores. But uh, I am, of course, the, the dynamic there in terms of geopolitics of and the course. war. Of course. At least is very different than mm. people expressing their First Amendment right to protest. Well, yes. But I also think that what people are starting to see, at least in, in the occupation uh, of, of Palestine, just an, an increasing crisis of humanitarian condition. And that to me is just where I tend to mm -hmm. come from on this issue. You use the term the occupation of Palestine. Mm. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um, I think it, what I meant is like the the settlements that are increasing in, in some of these areas and and places where um, where Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty in access to uh, their housing and homes. Do you think you can expand on that? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd also just I I am not the expert on geopolitics on this issue. You know. Wow. You're an idiot. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Are you big dope? It was an uh, island that at its widest level is, what, 12 miles from shore to shore? Yeah, my, my fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and, uh, and capsize. Uh, we don't anticipate that. I don't have to smoke anything to be stupid. I don't even know what I'm talking about! Exist, we much, we must, and we will much about that be What the hell are you talking about? No! 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 Blah, 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 blah. It's not, you know, people, understandably, well, you know, it started off at 6 trillion, now it's 3.5 trillion, now it's going, is it going to be 2.9, it's going to be zero. Zero, because in, the, in that plan that I put forward, and I said from the outset, I said, I'm running to change the dynamic of how the economy grows. You big dope. I'm worried about families and elderly grandparents and what their lives are at stake. Every one, every one, every one is a little harder. So, you know, so mom can, grandmom can walk out without having, uh, out of her porch without worrying about falling, can take care of herself, can be left alone. They're going to keep working to pay the bills. I don't understand the words you just said. Look, my plan is simple. We're going to make sure we take care of mom. We're going to take care of the child. We're going to take care of the child. They speak English in what? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Chewing it and I suffer the pressure. Are you big dope? Uh? Big dope. Do you speak any English?